All right, what's up guys? Thomas here again with another video on how to talk to camera. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about something that I would recommend or actually advise you to do before you even press the record button, before you turn the camera on. This is something that I think you actually need to do, especially if you're starting out talking on camera as a beginner. I actually still use this almost every time I talk to camera and it just helps me flow so much more, not get stuck over my words, and just be in a more kind of generally positive, present, confident space when I'm talking to camera. So it's really important. I actually showed this to some of the, or to all of the members who took part in the beta launch of my program, my Talking on Camera program that I launched in January, as I told you guys about in the last video. And it was awesome. They were like super shocked and surprised and excited about just this one thing and how much it can help um, them basically smash it when they talk to camera every time. As you can see, I'm in the same studio with the same setup. I haven't actually managed to make any improvements yet on this setup, but I'm really excited to be getting some new gear and some new stuff in here to kind of polish it up, if that makes sense, kind of make it a bit more decorative. So that's going to be sick. But for now, let's get on to this tip. And we're gonna be talking about something called state. Now to explain state, think about how you feel when you wake up in the morning. Literally imagine you're just out of bed and maybe even you had a bit of a heavy night drinking or you didn't get much sleep or whatever. You're doing something the night before that make you kind of wake up feeling worse. And imagine that kind of state of mind. How do you feel? You're like groggy, you're the, the opposite of present. Maybe you wake up and you've got some thoughts in your head or you're thinking about the dreams you had or you're, you're kind of just like uh, zombie mode, right? Think about that state versus how you would feel after you had an intense workout, whatever your favorite workout is, whether that's like running or, or lifting weights or whatever it is. And then afterwards you had a coffee or like a, or a green smoothie or something or whatever, like you, you did this thing you consumed this thing that you really like to consume and it maybe it had caffeine in it, right? How would you feel after that? Most likely you would feel like a ton of like good energy. Your body would feel like very loose, very energized. You would probably be thinking very clearly. You'd be feeling present and imagine the difference between those two states of mind. And so what I'm trying to explain here is throughout our day, we are in different states the whole time, right? Versus how we get out of bed, up to maybe after that workout or after that whatever it is, then during the afternoon slump, maybe we're kind of groggy again, and then maybe in the evening after we've talked to a few friends or whatever, or we've come home and we kind of brighten up a bit. So when we're talking to camera, how can we optimize our state? How can we control our state to, to reach that kind of peak point of state every time that we talk to camera. So most likely you're not gonna wanna set up your tripod after you've just woken up and start talking to camera, you're gonna get very frustrated, you're gonna look at yourself like, what, who am I? And it's just not gonna go well. So, I'm gonna give you three techniques right now that's gonna optimize your state so when you are talking on camera, you're gonna be super on point every time. Number one is the example I just gave, is working out. Now. This is, for me, it's one of the things that just makes me feel best in my life. Like there's not, if I'm feeling bad and I go and work out, it's, it's almost impossible for me to feel bad after that workout, especially if it was like a good workout. I'm not telling you all to go and start working out regularly. This is not a fitness channel yet. No, I'm kidding. But I'm not saying everyone go start working out all of a sudden and get yourself on a new workout routine. I'm just saying before you talk to camera, it might be a really good idea to, to hit the pavement, to hit the gym, to do whatever, to get you sweating, get you kind of, your body kind of flushed, and then talk to camera, ideally after you shower and put on some nice clothes, and then talk to camera, and you're just gonna be so much more on point. So that's technique number one. Number two is socializing. If you spent all day in your room, and you're on the computer and maybe you're like working on like a spreadsheet or something and you're just typing away. I know myself, when I do that all day, I'm a complete zombie afterwards. I'm 
I'm not a human and I try and talk to people and, and I'm just kind of like, and the words don't come out and I'm a weirdo and like, I, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not the coolest person to meet after I've been doing that all day, basically. So what is the, the flip side of that? What is essentially the opposite of that? And that is talking to people. That is getting out there and just having some conversations with maybe close people, maybe not so close people, maybe it's literally going to the grocery store and just, instead of just being like, thanks, bye, be like, oh, nice weather today, oh, how are you, oh, good, okay, and that create a good vibe and, and then leave, you know? Or maybe it's having a super deep conversation with a friend or a family member or whatever it is, but kind of getting in that social flow and then turning on the camera is a game changer, it's a complete game changer. You're just gonna be, because you're just used to talking, you're used to expressing yourself, you're not a zombie anymore, and you're just used to being in that flow and then talk to camera. So it's, it's really the same thing. You're just talking to a friend almost. And then number three is more specific intentional exercises that you can actually do every time that you turn the camera on. So it's not like I'm, I'm not literally saying like you can't talk to camera if you haven't gone to the gym and gone to a party. Like no, I'm not saying that. But there are a couple of exercises that you can do that are really gonna help you when you do talk on camera. And one of them is breathing exercises, and another one is a shaking exercise. So I'm not gonna go into these two in depth, but they can really help. The breathing, for example, you can do some kind of breath work where you intentionally slow your breath down and make it kind of deep and powerful for a couple of minutes. And trust me, if you do this before you start talking on camera, it's insane. You feel so much more relaxed and present, even if you were feeling kind of bad and weird before. So just take two minutes, literally put a timer on, because you don't, if you do it for 10 seconds, it's not gonna do anything. So two minutes, put the timer on, breathe deeply and powerfully for that time, ideally following some kind of technique, and then talk to camera. This is really awesome. Number two is do the same thing, put the timer on for two minutes, except shake your body. Shake your head, ideally, You're kind of doing this kind of thing, shaking your whole body out, jumping up and down on the spot, and then talking to the camera. You're just gonna be energized, charged, you're gonna be in your body, if that makes sense, rather than thinking and being like locked up in this kind of logical thought pattern, you're gonna be, your energy is gonna be like centered in your body, and it's gonna enable you to deliver so much better. So those are the three techniques that I usually use, working out, socializing, or if I'm kind of more, I wanna be more intentional about it, uh, which is what I do almost every time, is either breathing or shaking, then turning the camera on, and you're just gonna deliver that much better. You're gonna, your kind of foundation, as I talked about in the last video, your foundation is gonna change. And then of course, on top of that, you're building in uh, your habits, you know, your eye contact, your not, talk, not saying ums, things like this, and once you start doing that, then you're really finding this kind of uh, awesome synergy between all the things you're doing. And it's just gonna allow you to explain better, perform better, and your, ideally your viewers are gonna be more connected, informed, and entertained by you, basically, which is the end goal. All right, quick video, but down in the description below, you can get my cheat sheet that I've put together. It's a one-pager PDF that you can print out, have in your desk in front of you, and just refer to it just before you're talking on camera. It's a really useful cheat sheet. I've put some really cool tips in there that are just gonna be these kind of simple things to remind you about these simple habits and foundations that you use to then talk to camera better. So that is in the description. Leave me a comment about what you thought about this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video. All right guys, cheers, bye-bye.